University Sporting Goods has been located in the square and serving the Oxford community for over 50 years. How will the loss of Colonel Rep and the seemingly unpopular Black Bear affect their business? Once they announced it, probably in September, that they were doing away with him altogether and that he would, there would no longer be any product made, then sales spiked. Since the university has announced the Black Bear will be our mascot, um, we'll support that. And when the time comes and they have the, um, everything finalized and, and uh, the copyrights in place, we'll, we'll print some, kernel, I mean, some Black Bear stuff and we'll put it in our store. Do I think it'll sell right off the bat? No. I, I think it's going to take several years, maybe even a generation. Some people come in and they are looking for it, for it and they're excited about it, but I'd say the majority of people um, don't like it and don't support it, so they may not, you know, not buy it at all. But I guess depending on, you know, we'll, we'll sell it, but if, you know, no one buys it and no one likes it, I don't think that we're going to sell as much or keep in inventory as much Black Bear stuff as we do Colonel Reb stuff. Public opinion of the new mascot will be the driving force behind sales and revenue in local businesses. People want anything and everything with Colonel Reb on it. And I've actually had some people tell me that once the bear is on clothes and things, they won't buy it. And I haven't really heard much feedback, positive feedback from the Black Bear. And I just don't know if it's going to sell very well.